वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर स्टार्टिंग चैप्टर थ्री एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट लर्निंग असेसमेंट ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री ई थ्री पॉइंट वन वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी यूजिंग किर्च ऑफ करंट लॉ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ अकामोलेटिव करंट ऑन अ नोड इन साइड एन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू जीरो सम ऑफ ऑल एंटरिंग करंट्स ऑन अ नोड इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ ऑल लिविंग करंट्स फ्रॉम डेट नोड वी आल्सो विल बी यूजिंग ओहम्स लॉ अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस एनी रेजिस्टेंस आर इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ करंट थ्रू इट एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस इट सेल्फ नाओ मूव टूवर्ड्स द प्रॉब्लम लर्निंग असेसमेंट ई थ्री पॉइंट वन राइट द नोड इक्वेशंस फॉर गिवन बिलो फिगर This is the circuit diagram of given problem. Inside this network, we have to find all node equations. So, without wasting time, let's proceed towards the solution. First of all, if we observe, this circuit contains three nodes. These three nodes are highlighted. One of them is reference or ground node. All branch currents as well as voltage on other nodes will be taken with the reference of this ground node. Two number of nodes are left other than ground or reference node, so there will be two number of node equations. We will solve this problem with these two nodes to find two node equations. In order to find node equations for these two nodes, first of all we have to label. these branch currents along with their directions here is the assumed current along with their directions in this network current i1 and i2 are leaving from this node while only one current is entering 4 milli ampere similarly on this node current i2 is entering while current i3 and 2 milli ampere are leaving from this node so we have marked all branch currents along with their directions and all of these are assumed current if the actual current will be opposite to these branch currents the value of that branch current will be with minus sign that will be indicating that the actual direction of current is opposite to the assumed direction of current so now we will write kirchhoff current like equations for these two nodes first of all we will start here on this node only one current is entering while two currents are leaving so kirchhoff's current like equation for this node will be entering current is taken with positive sign while leaving currents are taken with negative sign now next step is to replace current i1 and i2 with their respective equations current i1 will be equal to voltage across this 6 kilo ohm resistance divided by the value of resistance so the equation of current i1 will be v1 divided by 6 kilo ohm Similarly current I2 will be equal to voltage across this 12 kilo ohm resistance divided by the value of resistance if we observe current is leaving from this node and entering towards this node it means this node voltage that are labeled as V1 will be on higher potential than this node voltage V2 so we can say that potential difference across 12 kilo ohm resistance will be the difference of these two voltage v1 minus v2 that voltage will be appearing across this 12 kilo ohm resistance so current equation for this 12 kilo ohm resistance will be v1 minus v2 divided by 12 kilo ohm so modify this equation by replacing these two currents with their respective equations current i1 is replaced with v1 divided by 6 kilo ohm and current i2 is replaced with v1 minus v2 divided by 12 kilo ohm now in order to omit denominator values we will multiply this equation with 12 kilo ohm on both sides product of 12 kilo ohm and zero will become zero and on the other hand side product of 12 kilo ohm and 4 milli ampere will result 48 ampere Similarly product of 12 kilo ohm and V1 divided by 6 kilo ohm will result 2 V1 12 kilo ohm will divided by 6 kilo ohm the answer will be 2 and that 2 will multiply with V1 
Similarly, here product of 12 kilo ohm will cancel out 12 kilo ohm in denominator. Only V1 minus V2 will left. Now open these brackets minus will multiply with these two variables. It will become minus V1 and plus V2. Here minus V1 and minus 2 V1 will become minus 3 V1. Now arrange this equation by placing these two variables on the other end side of equal. So the equation of this particular node will become 3 V1 minus V2 equal to 48 ampere. And this equation is labeled as equation A. Similarly, we will find node equation for this particular node. On this node, one current is entering that is I2 while two currents are leaving. One is I3 and other one is 2 milliampere. So Kirchhoff's current law equation for this node will be I2 is taken with positive sign because it is entering current while other two currents are leaving. So that's why these are taken with negative sign. Again, we have to replace these two currents with their equations. Current I2 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 12 kilo ohm as we have calculated in previous step. And current I3 will be equal to voltage across this 6 kilo ohm resistance that is V2. So V2 divided by 6 kilo ohm. Modify this equation by replacing these two currents with their equations. V1 minus V2 divided by 12 kilo ohm is equal to I2 and V2 divided by 6 kilo ohm is equal to I3. Now in order to omit denominator values, we will multiply this equation on both sides with 12 kilo ohm. This 12k will cancel out with the product of 12k, only V1 minus V2 will left. And here 12k will multiply with V2 divided by 6 kilo ohm. This 6 kilo ohm will cancel out with 12k. 2 will left and that 2 will multiply with V2 that will become 2V2. Similarly 12K will multiply with 2 milliampere. K will cancel out with milli and the product of 12 and 2 will become 24 ampere. Now add these variables together minus 2V2 minus V2 will become minus 3V2 and place this minus 24 ampere on the other hand side of equal to separate constant from variable. So the equation of this particular node will become V1 minus 3V2 equal to 24 ampere. As we have discussed earlier, in this network there are three number of nodes. One is reference or ground node. So there should be two node equations. And that two node equations are these two respectively. So this was learning assessment E3.1. Thank you. See you again in next video.